Hey guys, today I wanted to show you what, what I use to seal my water slide decals. I was using acrylic spray like most people do, and I will still use that for certain items, but another YouTuber used Plasti Dip, and I'll put her link in the description so you can watch her video too. And it is a game changer. The first two times I messed up because I didn't do enough. And so my rule of thumb is three times, you know, spray three times, spray, let it dry, spray, let it dry, you know, that kind of thing. And you must use it outside. This stuff stinks. It's not even like acrylic. It's, it's stinks worse than that. So make sure you spray it in a well-ventilated area, preferably outside. <laughs> um, so let's begin. So here's the Plasti Dip. Uh, I had to go online to get it. And it says they had it at Walmart, but it was out of stock. And so Lowe's had it online. And it's about, I want to say... I don't even remember how much it was. Maybe eight or nine dollars. I'm just guessing. But they have it at Lowe's.com. I'm sure you can find it other places, probably Home Depot or you know, things like that. But it's it basically puts a plastic type film on your item. So you know when you do your water slide decal. And you start sliding it around and doing what you need to do with it. If you mess it up, it's messed up. Like, there's no fixing it. Especially if it folds on itself or it, it there's a crease or anything. Basically, all your work is ruined <laughs> for the decal. And um, so, the plastic dip really helps. So this is not the best angle, but this is what I have. Um, so I have my water and then my tile that I'm going to be using or, you know, to put the water slide decal on. I already used some alcohol to clean. So you just use a little bit and clean it and let it dry. It dries relatively um, quickly. So I have my... Um, picture here my water slide decal oops I wasn't ready yet <laughs> and then um, so I've already sprayed this and let it dry three times and um, like I said earlier when you spray it make sure you do it outside because it stinks so I'm gonna take a paper towel and just wet it a little bit and put it to the side then I'm going to place my decal in the water, but I'm not going to totally soak it yet. I'm just going to put a little bit of water here and there. Not all the way. I'm going to move my water to the left. <clears throat> Sorry, I wish there was a better angle. And I'm going to put it on there. And I'm going to put a little bit more water on it now. Okay, just put it just like that. Okay. This is a 6x6 six six tile. I went ahead and cut it as 6x6 six six for the decal. So it might go a little bit over a tiny bit and that's okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to slide this off. Very carefully. <laughs> so I have it turned on the side, so I don't know why, but I just like that. So see how these are, see how there's wrinkles? If you don't use the Plasti Dip, these would all be messed up. This whole decal would be messed up. So I'm going to put my fingers very carefully on the corners like this and then I'm gonna slowly slide it off just like this ok 
Okay, so now with your paper towel that's a little bit wet, you're going to start in the middle and you're going to start getting all the wrinkles out. Now, if you need to position, do very, do it very carefully. And I'll, I can't emphasize it enough. If you don't use the Plasti Dip, if you were to do this with your fingers, to try to, um, to try to move the decal, you could possibly tear it and ruin the whole thing. And believe me, I've done it many times. So take it from me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to the middle, out, very gently. Sometimes I pick it up and, and do it, you know, just to, This is a memorial gift. My husband made the swing for our family and they took a picture of him, you know, and then we found out this past week that he passed away. So that's kind of sad. So I'm just lightly Going from the middle out. And see, I cut it six by six, so it's going a little bit over the edge, but that's okay. You don't really see it, you know. It actually looks kind of neat being a little bit bigger. I think my paper towel is a little bit too wet, but that's okay. I got a drier paper towel. I mean, I wet it a little bit, but just a little bit. So you just want to gently, because this, this decal paper is very delicate. I think I messed up probably a whole pack. <laughs> Not a whole pack at one time, but just like I bought a pack and then I messed it up and then I had to order more and I'm like, oh. You want to make sure as much of the wrinkles as possible are gone. There we go. All right, so there you have it. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna, um, I have a stand already. It's one of those picture frame stands. And I'm just going to um, put it on there. I'm actually going to mail it. And since I have a laser printer, there's no need to seal this. Because, number one, you already sealed it with the plast Plasti Dip. But there's no need to seal it again. It's good to go. It's on there. I mean, if you want to, you can do maybe one coat of acrylic. But there's no need to. It will dry on there just like that. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. So there you go. Um, that's the final. The final. <laughs> um, I just put it on a, a stand so you can see what it looks like. But um, this will be a good gift. And pretty easy if you use the Plasti Dip. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, just comment below and I will get back with you. And you can check out any links that I have on where I get my items for this project. Thank you.